I eat a lot of soup, and as a result, I get a lot of cans left over. So what I'm going to do today is show you five different methods of upcycling cans into something beautiful and useful. Now, if like me in the UK, you have this type of can with the pull top rather than the can opener can, which are really quite convenient, then it does leave this sharp edge. And I have showed you how to get rid of this before, but I think this method is much better if you have got the tools. So what I've got is a piece of wet cloth in there, just kitchen towel and the angle grinding disc on my Dremel. And look how beautiful this does this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around the whole can and just take that off. It takes it off really easily and simply. That cloth there just keeps all the dust and the bits together. And it's so smooth, it's lovely. That's all cleaned up lovely now and you can see the dirt and the dust that was in there and that will just pop out and that may leaves that a lot cleaner. And now what I need to do is get rid of any of the glue that's still attached to the can where the label's gone on. And I find the best thing for this is a good spray of WD-40, leave it on there for about five or 10 minutes and then that glue will just wipe away. And then what I'll do is I'll give them a quick wash in some soapy water to get any residue of the WD-40 off. And then you've got perfect clean cans that are nice and safe to start with. These are all completely dry now and lovely and clean. And what I'm going to do before I do anything else is I'm going to give them two coats of this and it's a cold galvanizing spray. Whenever you're going to spray anything like this, always wear a mask, eye protection and ensure you spray in a well ventilated area area so I'm going to go outside and do that and when they're dry I'll be back. The first one I'm going to do I'm going to cover in this brown paper. I've got a weak solution of white glue and I'm going all the way over it and sticking that on. And I'll cover the whole thing for this one. This is all dry now and what I've done is I've mixed up some of my modeling paste recipe and if you want to know what I use to make this I will link it at the end. All I'm doing is plopping that on all the way around and I'm putting quite a thick layer on so this is going to take probably overnight to be fully dry. This is all dry now, dried really well. What I've done is I've mixed myself up some paint and this is a burnt umber, yellow and gold mica powder in it as well. What I'm doing here is only my base colour and this is to ensure that I cover up all this paste which has dried on here beautifully, lovely and hard, and isn't going anywhere. It's such a versatile paste, and it's well worth doing. That's all nice and dry now. What I'm going to be using is some dry brushing over that using the Dreamy Yellow Lemon, which is an iridescent paint by Arteza. Now, I want this to be quite heavy on here to catch on to quite a lot of this, so that background colour is a very much background colour. And we can see the iridescence starting to come through now. I'm going to let that dry and then do it exactly the same with that same colour again for a second coat. Well, that second coat is lovely and dry now and I've mixed a little bit of white with some gold mica powder just to tone down that white. And now I'm going over the top of that very lightly. Not as heavy as I did with the yellow. Well that's all finished now. I've also given it a coat of acrylic varnish to protect it. And what I've found is these half pint plastic mugs fit in these cans beautiful with just the clear rim showing round. So if you want to put a plant in it then you can. I think that really does look nice and you can paint this in any colours, do any pattern that you like on it but it's a great way of upcycling a tin and using it again. For this can I'm going to cover it in leopard skin because I just love it but first of all I don't want these ridges so I'm going to cover it with a piece of cardboard from a cardboard envelope which and that's something from Amazon came in of course. I well, upcycle Amazon stuff as well. I've got my piece of cardboard cut now, it's perfect and I'm going to be using this Yoohoo glue. I'll put some on here, some on there and then I'll put them together. Now I've got that slight seam there so I'm just gonna put something in that seam to ensure that that is gone. So what I've done is I've added a little bit of the glue in there, now that's dry, I'm going along and giving it a 
sand down. Now that seam isn't going to be completely invisible, but it is going to get rid of a lot more of it. And now that's all dry, I'm going to coat it in two coats of a quite pale yellow. Well, that's all dry now. I've also painted a black rim around the top and the bottom. And now I'm going to apply this. I'm using Mod Podge to apply this with. The great thing about Mod Podge is that it will also protect this paper. Now, if like me, you haven't lined that up perfectly there, don't worry about that because the next stage will sort that out. So what I'm going to do now is attach the base. All I've done is cut a piece of card out, cut a circle of this out, and then gluing this using Mod Podge onto this piece of card. Put a bit of a weight on that. I'm using an old brick that's covered in <laughs> duct tape. Well, now that's all dry, I'm going to glue some sequins around the top and the bottom using this same YooHoo glue. Putting some on and then allowing it to dry a little bit and then wrapping them round. This one couldn't be easier. I've got some thick twine and all I have to do on this one is add the twine to the can. And I'm gonna start from the inside and work in and go round in a spiral. I will use my glue gun for this one because the glue sticks really well to this twine. So I'm gonna start from the inside and work my way around. So all I'm doing now is just continuing to wrap this round, popping the glue on, making sure I'm twisting this, pushing it up against the previous one until I get all the way to the bottom. Well, that's nearly finished now, and it looks really good. I like the fact that we've gone inside. It's nice and sturdy on there. What I've done is just cut a scraggly bit of material here, and you can do any piece of material that you want, and I'm going to tie that around its middle. And then we've got a little bow on there. I think that looks quite cute. Just finishes it off a little bit. And you could use that in your potting shed, in your house, or anywhere. This one's quite a simple one as well. I've got these really tiny mosaic tiles that I ordered by mistake, thinking they were three times bigger than this. Didn't send them back because I knew I'd use them for something. And they fit perfectly on this can. I'm using a thick PVA glue here and all I'm doing is going round this can adding them onto here like this and fortunately they fit perfectly all the way around I don't have to do any cutting so this is all finished now and it's lovely and dry all that glue is dry you could leave it like that but I'm going to grout it and I've got some ready mixed waterproof grout here and it's really easy to use all I'm doing is pushing this through into all of my my gaps. While it's still wet, I'm going to take a cloth and go over it and remove as much of the surplus as I possibly can. And if you've got bits that are stuck in it and you don't want them there, I'm just going over that with a soft brush and that will remove those. And then we can polish those out completely once it's fully dried. And I think that finishes it off nicer than that. For this one, what I need first of all is a piece of hem. And I've chosen this old pair of jeans that I cut up a long time ago. And all I've done is cut a small strip like this. I'm going along with my hot glue gun because it works really well with fabric. Putting a bit on there and then joining my ends together. And that will give me that lovely finish there. Enough to go round the tin twice. And now that's done, what I'm going to do is with the nice neat end at the top, I'm going to push that onto there so it is well into there. But before I do that, I'm going to paint the bottom of these two areas black. Well, that black paint's nice and dry and what I'm going to be doing is sticking this on here now like that. And I'm gonna be using my hot glue gun for this. So what I'm going to do first is put my hot glue on here, give that a really good squeeze. And as you can see, that is slightly higher now than the actual can itself. And then I'll go round and I'll do both the bottom and the top exactly the same way. So now what I've got is a piece of faux leather that I'm going to wrap around here. Now I want it to 
butt up against this bottom seam that I've just put on there and overlap on this top one and go all the way around. And I'm going to be using, again, the Yoohoo glue for this because this will stick this really well. well. This has been drying now for about three minutes, which is a plenty. And I want to ensure that my seams are lining up up make sure that everywhere is stuck and i haven't got any bubbles well, these are all finished now five easy upcycles of tin cans i love them all i don't really have a favorite do you have a favorite if so let me know in the comments which one your favorite is this one i'm giving to a friend who's a drag queen who loves leopard print and i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with the other ones probably keep them and use them i love the leather one Again, simple to make. The little bow on this one really does finish it off lovely. The one with the plant in, you can make that any sort of shape and style that you want. And then the final one, and this one's got a nice bit of weight to it as well, I think is ideal to put paper flowers or artificial flowers in that you've made. Look how beautiful that came out. And again, really, really simple. I look forward to hearing what you make, if you upcycle tins or what ideas you've got. If you've enjoyed this and want me to make more, then please boot that like button. It really does help me to understand what people like. Take care, enjoy your crafting and your upcycling. Bye.